Hello everyone, this is John with another proof of concept presentation. I will demonstrate how a common Android device such as the Samsung Galaxy S2 shown here can be used to wirelessly interact with your embedded application running on an Altium Nanoboard 3000. This capability enables you to add to your embedded applications the extra dimension of both wireless controllability and observability. Currently running on this Nanoboard 3000 is a straightforward embedded application which digitally generates a DC signal level and displays it on the NB3000's LCD. This digital signal data is then converted to an actual analog signal using the NB3000's onboard D to A converter. Connected to the NB3000 is a custom peripheral board which wirelessly interfaces nearly any Android device to the NB3000 via the standard peripheral board connector. This board is based on an open source design called the Yo-Yo Board Project developed and maintained by Ty Bensfi. See the displayed URL for more detail. The interface board design is simple yet extremely powerful. The only active component on this board is a PIC microcontroller which serves as a USB host controller and enables controllability and observability of 48 configurable I.O. pins. Through these I.O. pins, the resident firmware controls all interactions between the Android device application and the embedded system application running on the nano board. The wireless capability is accomplished through a standard Bluetooth adapter plugged into the board's USB host connector. The resident firmware is open source and can be downloaded at the displayed URL. So let's have a closer look at this Android Nanoboard interface in action. On the Android device display you can see the DC voltage level which is the analog signal output from the NB3000's D to A converter. This is an example of analog input and measurement capability. I can start and stop the execution of the embedded program running on the NB3000 by toggling a button on the Android device, simply enabling and disabling the program execution. This is an example of a digital output control. I can also get the current connection status of the processor running on the NB3000 by sending a signal back to the Android device. So if I hit reset and halt the processor, notice on the display you'll see an NB3000 not ready indication. Once out of reset, it'll show NB3000 connected. This is an example of a digital input control. And lastly, I have the ability to generate a pulse width modulated signal, which can be used to control things like servo motors, and in this case, the LCD screen. I'm actually going to adjust the brightness level just by adjusting the slider. Notice now there's a uh, no display and then as I move the slider to full display intensity controlling the backlit display of the LCD. So these are just four basic capabilities of input, output, analog, and pulse width modulated signal control available in this interface. There are other types of controls such as direct support for UART, SPI, and I2C protocols. On the Android device, the interface application wirelessly communicates with the PIC microcontroller on the interface board. This application is written in Java using methods and classes from the open source YoYo and Bluetooth specific Android libraries. Any combination of buttons, sliders, and other widgets can be used to create your own Android application display layout suitable for your application specific needs. As you can see, adding wireless Android device support to your embedded applications is easily accomplished using the Altium Nanoboard 3000 and leveraging the open source Android hardware and software technology.